Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It will be a miracle if this video actually makes it to you because I'm currently in China where YouTube is blocked. So arguably the worst place for someone who is launching a company via social media and YouTube to go, but here we are. This week, I finally got to tell you about my company, Ink Outside the Box. For those of you who missed it, I posted a video on Monday, but basically it is a stationary brand and we're launching our first ever product today. So on the day that this video goes live, Friday the 26th of July, these bad boys are going on sale at 5 p.m. They'll be going on sale at www.inkoutsidethebox.co.uk, so if you want one, please, please, please go and get them. We have a limited stock and I put my heart and soul into this and I'm so excited that you might potentially have one of these. Yeah, it is the perfect planner for school, university, sixth form, anything you want to do. In fact, it's just a good life planner. I'd recommend to a friend and also I did, I did design it, so. But basically, when I posted that video, I knew there would just be so many questions which I couldn't cover in the initial video. So, I took to my Instagram story, at Jack Ben Edwards, if you want to follow, and asked you guys what you wanted to know about Ink Outside the Box and the Jackademic Planner. And boy, were there lots of questions. So, let's get crack a lack in. Crack a jack in. Maybe it's a good thing that YouTube's blocked here. Question number one is, were there any features you were sad to have to let go? Yes, there was actually one feature that I was quite passionate about at the beginning, which turned out not really to be that possible. Basically, I wanted to have to-do lists at the beginning of every single week, like a big, big, big to-do list. But the problem was, it made this book like way too thick. However, on each day, there is now like a mini to-do list on the side, so you can still pop in daily things that you need to get done outside of like actual activities that have a specific time you need to do them in. So I feel like that's a pretty good compromise. Like there is still a section for to-do lists. There's also um, note pages at the back that look like this. When will shipping begin? Okay, all of the information, including like international shipping and stuff like that is on the website. But in the UK, as far as I'm aware, shipping takes 48 hours from the time that the order is processed. So if you order before 1.30 p.m. on a day, then the processing can start that day and it should take 48 hours from that point. If you order after 1.30 p.m., then processing starts the following day, if that makes sense. So like roughly three or four days. What are you hoping to expand to in the future? Well, I would love to see these products in a shop. Like, that would just be so cool. At the moment, we are self-publishing because I wanted to release one really, really strong product that just screams the brand, that showed you what we're about and gauged some interest and this is that product. I would love to make a full collection, which goes alongside this, which matched the color scheme, which matched the kind of aesthetic and the design. That's the kind of dream at the moment. Hopefully these do well, and then that kind of allows me to do that. I've got my fingers, my toes, my intestines crossed, okay? How much will the planner be? Now this is the question that I got asked more than anything. Now the price is something that I really, really fought for because I wanted to make this as affordable as possible for you guys. The planner will be 14 pounds. It is super high quality, like I can't tell you how good this is. And you get so much value out of this product, like you can use it for a whole year, every single day. So I'm really happy that we could get it down to 14 pounds. Does it only follow the UK slash US academic seasons? Can it be used for Australia? Not really. Basically, the dates covered by this planner are August 2019 to August 2020 inclusive, so it has both of those months in as well, which means that it is ideally geared for academic years, which fit between those months. Obviously, you could buy it and just use it as a life planner and then also continue using it academically as well. What other products are you planning on making? Now, I don't want to give too much away, but I did mention about the to-do lists, which I took out of this planner, and basically they were so strong as a concept that I'd actually love to release a whole pad of those to-do lists. I also have so many other ideas in mind. In fact, when I initially pitched Ink Outside the Box as a brand, I don't know if any of you did this or if it was just me, but when I was a kid, I would make like a PowerPoint for my parents about like why I needed a Tamagotchi. I essentially did that with why I need to create my own brand. And so I pitched like a full two year kind of plan about all the products that I had in mind that I would like to release. So trust me, even though this is the first one and I've put so much attention and energy into this so far, we also have product ideas, design ideas for loads of other things, hopefully, hopefully coming soon, but that won't be for quite a long time yet. How did you get this idea? Honestly, I use an academic planner every single day and I just wanted to make the perfect one. So it's entirely selfish, but hopefully you guys benefit from it too. Did the company have any alternative pun names? Yes. Naming this company was the hardest thing because I wanted it to be a pun. I wanted it to be quite fun. I wanted it to tell you a bit about what the brand did. And I also wanted it to be stationary based. So I went through so many names. At one point it was called Write On. At one point it was called it's worth a note. 
Um, at one point it was called Jot and so many others, but basically all of those names were trademarked and Ink Outside the Box had always been what I'd had in mind as the slogan. And so for quite a while, I really wanted Inkspo, like inspo but ink with ink outside the box as like the slogan to go alongside it i couldn't have inkspo because there's like a dublin company who have that name and so it was back to the drawing board and i think the more i thought about it the more i was like ink outside the box is the only name i'm really passionate about and then we sat down and we said actually instead of using that as a slogan it should just be the company name and i couldn't be happier with it like i think it was just meant to be that all the others were taken like that is the name of this company it's it's perfect what's the next thing you desire to produce um children after one week working in a summer school that is a joke the next thing i want to produce is like the full range to go with this are you doing a book signing equivalent for its release uh no i'm currently in china which is kind of a contraceptive of proper promotion. I will however be at Summer in the City in August in London, so if you're coming, bring yours along, that would be so cool. I would potentially in the future love to host an event where we could all bring these and just nerd out over stationery and just chill, um, but there's nothing kind of in the pipeline at the moment yet, other than Summer in the City, so if you haven't got your ticket yet, please do come hang out with us. We've got a study tube panel, my podcast is doing a live recording, we've got a meet and greet, it's gonna be so much fun. So yeah, hopefully see you guys there. Size specifications. Okay, um, this is it next to like my head, which is probably so unhelpful because I'm on a screen. Um, but this bit is pretty much A5, and then you also have the ring binder, but this like fits in a bag, in a school bag, probably in a handbag too. I don't have one, but I'm sure it does. This is a pretty standard size for like all academic planners, and it's like, big enough that there's enough room to like write substantially and it will fit on a desk and stuff but it's also really easily portable and super easy to carry around with you and yeah how did you design the product and find a manufacturer so i have an amazing designer called isaac who has just worked absolute magic making all of the like dreams that i had into this thing i basically sent this huge document which had every single page that i wanted in the planner and then a bullet pointed list of what i wanted the page to look like what features it needed to have and the rough kind of layout that i wanted when i couldn't explain it using words i would kind of draw a picture so i would use like instagram take a blank photo and like doodle what i wanted and send it in that document and then isaac kind of brought it to life for me and i sat with him for hours and hours and hours making small changes and explaining things and moving things about to make it perfect and yeah Hopefully that's what we've done. Manufacturer wise, it was all about making sure that the company were really high quality, but also cost effective. And so Lauren on my team managed to find them. I think that my management have worked with them before, which means they're kind of like trustworthy and reliable and they produced good stuff for them before. So yeah, super, super reliable. If someone wanted to do similar, what would you tell them in hindsight? Ooh, I think the main thing I would say is that this is your dream. This is your product. This is your brand This is something that's going to have your name attached to it And I spent a lot of time just being a bit too nice in the sense that sometimes designs would come over which I didn't love But I just be like, oh, they're so cool. Thank you so much Like maybe we could try this as well But what my design team actually needed was for me to just be super forceful put my foot down and say no I don't like that color. I want this one I don't like that font I want this one and make things happen to a point where I was really happy with it and eventually that is what happened and now we have a product that is like so me inside now and I just everything is perfect for me. Will you ever make any merch that is merch? So I guess you mean like t-shirt with my name on it, something with my face on it. No, that's just not really my style. How long did this whole process take from start to finish? Okay, so I was born in like 1998. Banter. I'd probably say that the idea of making my own academic planner first came into my head probably like a good year ago at least. And then it kind of became increasingly more possible that I actually could do that, which was crazy to me. So I first started creating mood boards and bullet pointed lists and just like writing on scrap pieces of paper, like design ideas and what I kind of wanted it to look like and what features it would have and that kind of thing in October. Sent the big scary email over to my management in January being like, hey, let's make this happen. They were like, hell yeah, let's do that. And then I think the first designs probably happened in like March maybe. And then the final one came to me about a week ago. So that's crazy. So it probably has been about nine months. Like this literally feels like labor. And now I am birthing this into the world. Would you like the Academic Planner to be a yearly release? Yes, if you guys love this, I would love to make another one. Like, I, I mean, I need an Academic Planner every year and once I finish this one, I'm going to be heartbroken. And obviously the dates won't work for next year. So, I mean, I'm gonna have to make one for myself anyway, regardless of whether the company makes another one, but hopefully you guys love it and we have reason to make another one. If the planners sell really well on Friday, would you consider releasing another batch? If the planners were to sell out, like, 
that would just blow my mind. We do have a very limited stock. So if they do sell out and there's demand for it, then I would love to release another batch. So that's a tentative yes. Like if the demand is there, then of course I'll, I'll produce more. How much did the investment into this stream cost roughly? Okay. So I need to be real with you guys on this one. I am in a very fortunate privileged position where because this is YouTuber merch, I've had help with funding. So my team have invested in these products. And so, so far I haven't actually had to spend any money of my own. And I want to be real about that because I understand like I'm a young person starting a company. Um, and I know that the investment is like such a big part of that. The way I would kind of explain it is that I've been investing in this YouTube channel and I've been investing in making these videos. Um, I've been investing time and money and effort into this. And I am the one who has made this possible for myself. So even though I am so lucky to have a team who have invested in this financially, I had to invest financially to get to a point where I even had that team. And I appreciate this opportunity so much. Like I am so, so, so blessed and fortunate. Um, but equally, you guys have helped this to happen. I've helped make this happen. Um, so yeah, this is, thank you guys for, for allowing me to even have this opportunity. And also to my management, like it's just, so surreal and incredible to me that this is even possible. However, having said that, at one point we were really struggling to work out how we were going to make this profitable and that required us to buy a lot more units of the product and at one point I did offer to invest my own money in it because I believe in this brand so much and luckily my team also really believed in it and so they were willing to invest but I was fully willing to invest my own money into this product. So yeah, that's how much I believe in it. How far do you want to expand the company? I think the sky is the limit for anything you ever do. And there will be reality checks and there will be things that aren't possible. But if like anything ever was possible for this brand, then what I would love is to have like a shop. Can you imagine a shop that said like ink outside the box? Oh, that would just be, I mean, that's never gonna happen, but that would be, that would be freaking crazy. But what I would really love is for like a company to buy into the brand and stock ink outside the box as a range. That would be really, really cool. That would, that would just be insane. When are you going to do a video showing how you use the product? Well, obviously because this planner starts in August, 2019 and ends in August, 2020, I haven't started using it properly yet. I had a sample before this one, which wasn't quite perfect, which I did fill in loads of to just like test it. But I am planning to do a YouTube video where I show you kind of like a walkthrough of how I use this planner. In the meantime, there is actually a page on the inside called how to use your planner. And this page explains how to get like optimum value out of the planner. So that is included, but I will make a YouTube video on it at some point too. Is the planner hardcover? It's not like hardback, but it is thicker, which means that it's really, really durable and sturdy. So yes and no. I basically didn't want to make it too heavy or clunky, but yes, the cover is thicker. So it is quite strong. Is the paper of the planner thick or thin? So the paper on the inside is actually really, really thick. Basically, one thing that was really important to me is that if you highlighted the pages, because I like color coordinating my plans, basically, if you highlight the pages, you won't be able to see the highlighter on the other side. Okay, so stationary nerds, you get what I mean, that's important. Is it scary self-publishing? Yes. Why did you choose stationery instead of t-shirts like other YouTubers? Um, basically, I just love stationery. Um, it's something that I use every day and I just thought that you guys would get maximum benefit from it. We never had a meeting saying, hey, I'm a YouTuber, what can we sell to my viewers? It was more a case of me thinking, hey, I would love to start a stationery company and I'd love to design my own stationery. And then thinking, oh, well, I have a platform that kind of allows that to become a reality. So instead of going from, we want to make merch to here is the merch, it was more like, here is a product that I really believe in. Oh, we can release that and promote it on my YouTube channel. So I hope that kind of makes sense. Like. I think YouTuber t-shirts are super cool, but personally like stationery is something that I really love. And so I just wanted to make stationery, you know? How did you decide which fun holidays to include? I love this question. So on the inside of the planner, there is a page here, which is key holiday dates. And there's also one that's alternative holiday dates. Key holiday dates has all the standard like bank holidays, Halloween, bonfire night, Christmas Eve, all of that stuff. Alternative holiday dates has loads of random wacky ones like international beer day, the day of left-handed people, dog day, guacamole day, talk like a pirate day, caps lock day. And basically I went through every single day in the year and every single day there are like five or six wacky holidays or like wacky things to celebrate i went through every single one to find ones that i thought were funny and that were kind of jokes and shortened it down to this list i don't know i just thought they might be like conversation starters how did you build your social platform up and balance this with your studies um i do think this is quite an interesting one to answer in this business q a because obviously this platform and your loyalty and support and 
incredibleness um, is what is allowing me to to do this. I just think you need to find something that you love. Like I make videos that I would want to watch. And luckily I found an audience who are like-minded and just like me and hopefully want to watch them too. So yeah, I just think make what you love and love what you make. How involved were you in the aesthetic design process? I was there for every step of the way. Like I sat with the designers and we, we did everything. So this is completely me. How do I purchase one? www.inkoutsidethebox.co.uk how is the packaging sustainable? Love that, by the way. Thank you. It is biodegradable and recyclable, so big thumbs up from me. Save the turtles. David Attenborough would love this product, okay? So you should too. Worldwide shipping or nah? Yeah. Um, all the information about worldwide shipping is on the website, but yeah, we can deliver to anywhere. I'm studying business psychology, so I'm curious about the team you have behind you helping with this. Okay, so I have my manager, Danny. I have Lauren, who is in charge of helping make this product a reality and manufacturing and postage and all of that kind of thing. Isaac, who is the designer, and Sarah, who helps me with like the marketing, running the website, that kind of thing. And they are all just so wonderful and they are helping me to create this little thing and they all believe in this product too. And yeah, I'm so lucky to have them. So thanks guys, if you're watching. Thing that you never knew happened in a process like this, having to check every single date. Obviously the design team had to input every single date manually by hand so there were like a few mistakes that we had to then like kind of iron out and things that you just don't notice when you just glance at it. So we looked through it so many times so slowly so carefully and like made this big document of like little changes that needed to happen just like one letter missing from a word or like a little typo anything like that had to be changed and now it's like it's good. Is the planner just weekly or are there monthly pages too? That's just my preference. Um, yes, there's both because I feel you. I know that sometimes you want to do that too. We have both of those as well as a whole year overview. So you've got, you've got everything. Does it have areas specifically for homework? Yes. So there's basically this page which has room to write in important deadlines. So you've got room to write in the assignment and the dates. But also what I would do is basically on each page, there's like three lines at the top. So that's room to kind of put in your deadlines and stuff like things that you really need to remember. Alternatively, you could put them here on the individual days. So they're just super clear. And also I would write them in a different colored pen so they kind of stand out. And final question is a good one to end on. It is, can you take us through exactly how you'd use the planner on a typical day? Yes. Okay, so let's say it is Friday the 16th of August. I would have my main deadlines written up here. I would have been filling in how much water I'd had to drink, so I'd also fill that in on this day too. If I'm meal planning that week, I would pop in what meal I'm going to cook for myself next to the dates up here. And if I had a deadline, I would write that in in red pen here. Then on each page, you have sections to add in the time you need to do things and the activity you need to do. So I would fill in what times I needed to be at university or at school. I'd mark in any societies and clubs that I need to go to, and maybe I have like a meeting at 3 p.m. I just put 3 p.m. and then the meeting. Then if I needed to say do laundry or do some washing up, I would add those bits into the to-do section with a little tick box and tick them off when I was done. So yeah, I hope that kind of helped. I hope this Q&A gave you a bit more insight into Ink Outside the Box. These planners go on sale at 5 p.m. on Friday the 26th of July 2019. In your confirmation email when you order, there's actually an exclusive little clip from me which you will be sent, but I would love to say thank you on like Twitter or Instagram as well. Well, please share them on your Instagram stories, on your Instagram feed, like if you did a flat lay or something with this planner, that would be so cool. I will be sharing all of them, I will be replying, um, I'll be interacting with them, giving you those likes, even though Instagram is trying to remove them. But anyway, I absolutely freaking adore this planner, and I hope you do too. And yeah, these are just crazy times. Thank you for watching, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed, subscribe for more from me, and I will see you next time. Bye bye!